Hi everyone, today I want to show you this network camera from Archie and as you can see it does have pan and tilt so you can control it from a cell phone or an iPad or even from your computer which is quite useful, you could use this as a baby camera or you could even use this as a security camera now the nice thing about this camera is it just runs off USB power. You can see here it comes with a micro USB lead and I've just plugged it into a USB charger that used to be used for a cell phone. So any USB charger can actually power this or if you wanted you could even power it off a power bank and that can be quite useful because sometimes I do projects around the house and although I'm meant to sit there and monitor it I don't always want to do that so what you can do is just set up the camera anywhere in your house connected to a power bank and then stream the image to your phone. Aside from the camera and the USB cable, you also get a couple of screws and this little plate here. The idea is that you screw this into your ceiling and then you can just basically mount it like that. It screws into place and it's as simple as that to mount it to your ceiling. Now some people won't want to mount it to the ceiling, it's perfectly fine just to sit this on a bookshelf or a cabinet or a table anywhere basically. And yes it is Archer branded, um, you've probably heard of them before, they're very well known for their USB power supplies and things like that. I think I have reviewed some of their products in the past. And for anyone who's curious you can see it consumes around 2 watts when you've got a Wi-Fi client connected and streaming the image. So it's very very low power, it doesn't consume much power at all. 2 watts, that's pretty impressive. Now I'm sure you would have noticed already that there's no wires going into this except for the power cable because this works with your existing Wi-Fi home network. So that makes it very simple to set up and install. All you need is somewhere where you can plug in USB power. And the installation process is insanely easy, like I've never had such an easy process. Basically you install the app on your phone, enter your Wi-Fi password, plug this in and then the phone talks to this over like, I don't know, some kind of high frequency sound. So very, very clever. Um, you can't hear anything, but it's actually transmitting data between the camera and the phone using high frequency sound. So it sets itself up, basically. All you have to do is open the app and put in your Wi-Fi password. Very, very clever. And it means that it's much more user friendly because some of these cameras are very, very difficult to set up, but this one is incredibly easy. And the nice thing is they have an application for iPhone, iPad, Android, and computer. So pretty much every device out there can control this. And like I showed you earlier, you just swipe to move the camera. Um, it can do 180 degrees so I'll show you, I'll just do this manually. If I turn it you can see how far it can actually turn around. And there you go, that's the limit, it can't go any further than that. But of course it can turn the other direction so let's just turn that around. So you do get a full 360 but you have to turn it one way or the other. It can't keep going around and around and around. Now if you don't want to swipe you can also just use this and you can hold that down like that and go up, down, left, right. It's really very, very simple to control. Now, one of my complaints would be that noise. Can you hear it? Let me bring it closer to the microphone. Now, I don't know how well you can hear that, but that's actually electrical noise from the power supply and it's coming out of the speaker. The speaker is picking up on that interference. Now it's very easy to fix just by putting like a piece of tape over that and then you can barely hear it anymore. Um, but yeah, that's something they should probably try and fix. Now it also has like a two-way speech thing. Now if I hold this down and talk into the phone. Hello, testing, testing, can you hear me? Hello, testing, testing, can you hear me? You can see that there is a little bit of delay, but it's not too bad, and it's definitely loud enough to hear. So you can have two-way communication, because I can also hear from the camera onto my phone. And I've got it turned off at the moment, because otherwise we'd have a feedback thing, but it works quite well. Now another thing to know is that when you're streaming the image on an iPhone, the iPhone does warm up, so I'm thinking it's quite a power-hungry application. On an Android device I tested, it didn't heat up at all, but on my iPhone and my iPad they do warm up, which it does when I'm playing games and things like that so I think they need to do some work on the application to optimize it so it doesn't you know consume so much CPU or whatever and it doesn't get so warm when you're using it. Now at the back of the camera you'll find a slot for a micro SD card and this is really useful because you can put a card in there and then have this automatically record footage and you can have it on motion detection so whenever someone walks in front of it or whatever it will start recording and it will save that to the micro SD and I reviewed the footage it's very good quality that's actually something about this camera the lens is actually quite small 
but the footage is very, very good quality. Now, another thing I like about this lens is it's actually adjustable. You can screw it in or out to change the focal point, which means if for some reason you're monitoring something very close, like the other day I was doing a power bank test and I had this pointed at my uh, USB tester here. And because it was so close, the default focus wouldn't work. I mean, it was very, very, very close. So I just adjusted it, like screwed it in or screwed it out and it adjusted the focal point. And you can actually use this as like a macro lens. It can go crazy good focus. Let me show you. I'll put this cloth here and let's put the camera on this. Now, if you look at that image, it's just a blurry mess, but let me adjust the focus of the lens. And look at that now, we can see each individual thread. Very, very impressive. Now, of course, if I face it back at me, I'll be out of focus. So you do have to manually adjust it, but potentially you could use this for other things that it wasn't intended for because of this adjustable focus. And this is how the image looks if you stream it in full HD. You can see it's really very clear. Now, I am doing this over a local Wi-Fi network, so of course it's pretty smooth. Um, you can also do this outside of the home when you're on 3G or 4G and it uses a central server so you don't have to worry about like messing around with your router settings to do port forwarding and all that kind of stuff. It handles everything for you which is pretty much standard on these kind of network cameras nowadays. Um, now of course it won't be as smooth when you're doing it outside of the home but it still works so you can get a look at what you're doing. Now these can be great as a baby cam because let's say you want to do something, you want to go in the kitchen but you don't want to leave the baby completely unattended, well typically you'd have a baby monitor for audio right? Well why not have one of these and keep an eye on your baby using your cell phone? It's pretty easy right? And it does have a night vision mode so let's turn off the lights and see that. So here you can see we're in infrared mode, the infrared LEDs have come on the camera and you can see here if we scroll around everything's in black and white because it is night vision mode. Now my face looks a little bit overexposed but that's actually just the camera I think because when I look at my phone using my eyes it doesn't look so overexposed. But yeah you can see it works quite well in the night as well. And you'll notice it will adjust the brightness or the exposure of the image. So when it first goes on this fan, it's kind of overexposed. But then, you know, a split second later, it's adjusted the image and you get a nice clear image. So night vision works very well. Let me put the lights back on. So I don't think there's too much else to say about this camera. It basically works as you'd expect. You can move it around without any problems. The picture quality is very good. The only real big issue is that noise it makes. But like I said, you can just put a piece of tape over here and then you won't be able to hear it anymore. Of course, that will also muffle your voice if you decide to talk through your phone. But I don't know how many people really use these things for two-way communication. Personally, I've got these kind of cameras and I never talk through them. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over there so I don't have to hear the noise anymore. The other thing is like I said I want them to optimize the application for Apple devices because it gets the phone a little bit hot which I don't like I'd rather they optimize the app like the Android version but otherwise it works exactly as you'd expect it's got a good quality image you can move it around there's really no complaints I guess one thing that would be nice is if it had a kind of wider angle so that you don't have to move it around so much I would like a wider angle that would be nice but it's not really a big complaint it's just something that would be nice oh and if you're wondering we're actually quite far away from my Wi-Fi router and it still gets a very good signal so it has a good enough antenna inside. To be honest I've looked at a lot of these Wi-Fi cameras and most of them have good antennas so I don't really have any complaints there. So I think that pretty much sums up this camera. If you have any questions put them in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.